Listeners, we're now being joined by attorney at law and talk show host in the UK, Silburn City. Thank you very much for having joined us. Hi, good evening. How are you guys? Well, we're giving thanks. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Great. Mr. Wonderful. Sadiel, um, when, when, what happened? What, what, how is it being taken, first of all, in the UK? How is this how, being British taken? People, yes. How are they reacting to this? The people generally, well, not just the politicians. Well, 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 to be honest, people have been somewhat expecting this. This has been on the cards for a while. Mm -hmm. uh, the Prime Minister has have been having many lives since, as you can see, because um, through the 1922 committees, there have been two rounds of, um, you know, where she actually was almost going to be out. Now, I believe because of the advent of the next few days, when we're going to hear the European Union elections and mm -hmm. the results, that's going to be a massive blow. And I believe, in a way, the, the party was saying, listen, it's time to actually go because, more than likely, the Brexit party with Nigel Farage is going to be um, have a, a, a resounding uh, victory. The Conservative Party is actually not doing well at, because, of course, at the recent uh, local government election, they did not do well, lost mm -hmm. over 1,000 seats. Mm -hmm. So, therefore, it is something which is expected. And uh, there's this massive groundswell at present whereby you know, March, June the 23rd, 2016, 17.4 million voted uh, Brexit. And it's like the, the House. Now, the Prime Minister at the same time is at the head of the, the, the government, but Parliament, members of Parliament, are not actually adhering to the whole democratic process of what took place um, in June for the election. So, so in a way, there were ex the nation has been expecting this. And as, as, as myself, as a an activist and, and, and uh, stood three times for office in the Conservative Party as well as a member. Um, we, in a, in a way, the, 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 just like how you heard her feet walking away, the, those stepping stones were actually um, in the making. So it is not a surprise. We know she was going, mm -hmm. but the matter was when. Were, were, you, were you in support of, of Brexit yourself? Were you in support? I voted of Brexit. Brexit. I, I am what people would say a Brexit. I, I did vote Brexit. Um, June the twenty third, and uh, I strong I strongly believe that um, it is the right way forward. Of course, um, it's a very divisive um, decision which was made, but it is a democratic process. But but what of her success? Uh, sorry, go ahead. Complete the point. Complete the point. Sorry, I thought. Yeah, you yeah, yeah, yeah. And and therefore, it is a democratic process whereby the the politicians need to adhere to that, and that is what. So therefore. The, the view is that at the, the next general election, whatever that is, lots of MPs will be deselected and a lot of MPs are going to lose their job because right now the nation is actually saying, let's get on with it. Now, even some who voted Remain, even some who voted Remain are actually saying, listen, I voted Remain, but I let, let's just go. We need to sort this out now. Deal or no deal. You know, mm -hmm. of course, as you know, it's October is the, is the end date now. Yes. So, so... What of her success, as my yes, colleague was asking? Yes, because it... <laughs> what, sort of, what sort of what's the so table that success is going to have? Exactly. What's the likelihood that this person would succeed in getting this thing done? Well, I, I tell you what. The timetable now as it is, is that the 31st of October is the, the new date. That's a new date whereby, um, you know, you know, we had March 29th, and I, I was in Westminster on March 29th, they are waiting for the moment. Of course, we, we know the signs were there because the average twenty wasn't there. 31st of October 29 is where the initial extension of the Article 50, when the 12th of April, then 31st of October. Now, Boris... Sorry, just is, tell us what that, what that date would mean, and what, 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 apart from well, the article. The what, what does that okay. mean? Just like on March 29th was the date when um, the Article 50 should, whereby they should leave, deal or no deal. You see, the Prime Minister had, she could, if she wanted to, right? Uh, 12th of April, 29th, was extended to the EU leaders are now back a six-month extension until yes. the 31st of October, whereby the UK will leave before this date if the withdrawal agreement is ratified. And that's why Boris Johnson is, you're following what Boris Johnson is actually saying, who is the, the leading contender, is saying that we have to leave by 31st of October, deal or no deal. Right now, of course, the deal which is before the government, uh, before the parties, it, it is not something that many like. It's not something that I like, but, but many persons sort of uh, compromise. They compromise to the point whereby they say, listen, 
let's just get out and then we can deal with that after. But like the DUP with the old backstop, the DUP which supports the present government, which is um, which is holding them, and, and many others um, are not in support of the present deal. And Labour, Labour is not going to support anything because all they want is the general election. Yes, but, the, but her all successor, want... her successor might just have yes. to um, go without a deal, might have to well, take you all without a deal. Well, her successor yeah, wouldn't have any greater opportunity, uh, chance of getting an agreement. Well, what what you have is a deal now which is dead. Yes. Anyway, so they, so therefore, Boris Johnson or whosoever, Michael Gove or McVeigh or, or whatever, they could go back to Europe and this and with Jacker and Ghani and say, listen, um, this is the situation. You see, we started off on a bad footing. We started. No, a, a situation. Sorry, yeah. just finish that thought. A situation of what? They yeah. could go back to uh, the, the union and say what? They, they could go back to the union and have another deal. Something which is a bit more another deal. But another deal, though. What has the union said about the possibility of that? Well, well, it, you see, you see, this is this is this is where this is where the UK need to position themselves. The UK is in a very strong position, but Theresa May moving from a weak. I can't position. understand how you say the UK is in a strong position. I I would think that they would be in a weaker position now. No, no, no. Now that no, she is, she's you, gone. I'm, I'm telling you this. Yes. The UK is in a very strong position. Yes. There are billions of dollars which the which the Europe need. Europe need the UK. Mm. I can tell you this. Mm. Europe need the UK and there's many strength in Brexit. But what has been happening is that many people are looking at Brexit as a way of saying let's say it's it's coming from a position of weakness whereby mm. we're not articulating the strength of it. Hence the reason why it is best for a Brexiter to be at the helm of the government now. Uh, you know, like like uh, uh, you know, but people might not like it, but like 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 a Boris, like a a, a gold, like a Dominic Raab, because right now within their heart they articulated the whole aspect of Brexit. Is it on so they are different from Theresa May in what way? I'm sorry, sir. They are different from uh, Miss May in what way, Miss May? Well, Miss May, Theresa May was a Remainer. She voted to remain. She 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 um, argued for remain. She was yes. um, um, campaigning to remain okay. because if you remember when. Leading up to the election, sorry, the referendum, there was a cross party thing. Labour and Conservative joined forces, everybody joined forces, and it was cross party, really. Yeah. So, so, she, so she didn't believe sorry. it, she didn't believe it, so she couldn't preach it. That's what, that's what the well, argument well, normally well, says. Well, 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 that, that is one of the arguments, but one of the, one of the strengths of Theresa May is that she's one of those ladies who's very principled, and mm. she accepted the fact that. We, we, we need to leave because that is what the people voted, voted for yes and, and that is where she was going but deep down in her heart mm. people are saying well she's not to remain at any reason why she keeps moving mm. these, these mm. she's she's maneuvering yes. instead of coming forcefully mm. uh, 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 a brexiter as someone said well, i think it was Mark McKnight, in her heart mm. it wasn't there david cameron mm. within his heart it wasn't there to leave. Mm. So you need a big at the helm to take it to the next level. Hence mm. the reason why they say, go now. The quicker you go, the better for someone else to come in and take the helm. But Mr. Sidel, how does replacing Theresa May with a Brexiter, how will that get everybody on one accord? Because because what, because yeah. the, the politicians can't seem to agree on a deal that yeah. satisfies everyone. Mm. Which, which, yeah. which, which, in the long run is really going against the 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 will of the people, the majority will, because the people are saying leave, and 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 the deadline has passed, and Britain yeah. is still in the EU. So how does you know catapulting someone who is a Brexiter uh, to that top job of prime minister help the situation at all when people are so divided on the issue? That's a very good point, because the arithmetic now in the House of Commons doesn't add up really in the sense of someone um, uh, passing the present deal. But mm -hmm. what we're talking about is getting a different mm -hmm. deal, deal. Mm -hmm. that can go to the House of Commons. Mm -hmm. The present deal which is there now is not one which is amenable, that they look at. Mm -hmm. because, even because If the Conservative members and the DUP, the DUP is a key, the key um, chess player right there, the checkmate. Mm -hmm. If they actually come together and they agree on a particular deal, Theresa May could have won. Theresa May could have, have, have won a um, couple of these um, votes in Parliament and, and can do it on Labour. You know? But the difficulty at the same time with the Conservatives is that you still have those within the Conservatives who have 
uh, uh, Remainers, but a couple of them have left, like uh, Anna Subaru, who have joined a new party, which is Change yes. UK, mm -hmm. which is a new party, you know. So, the, the, you see, the new leader of the, of the Conservative Party, ultimately the Prime Minister, will have to be a person who is able to cut across all aspects and somehow seek to try to unite the nation and sell Brexit. Mm -hmm. Huge, Brexit. huge task. Brexit. But, but uh, yes. huge, well, give us the political diary now uh, that, as we um, wind up here. What's the political diary now? You have given us the October 31 date. We know the yeah. um, June 7 date. Um, how, how does she manage now uh, to remain Prime Minister well, well, and do the job and give us some other important points for us to look at? Well, the timetable now is that, of course, you know, um, as part of it, the 10th of June um, is when nomination is going to be. Mm -hmm. um, that is actually the day when Trump is actually here. <laughs> she is <resigned. laughs> yes. going to be a caretaker prime minister um, until then. Yes. Then successive rounds of voting will take place until the final choice of candidate. Um, you know, um, and, and then we are talking about the end of June, where we'll have in place the key persons who will be um, as contenders. What the party wants as well, even though this is. Uh, so this by the is, end of June, we still you still would not have elected. A, a, a new leader for the Conservative Party. No, no, no. By the, right. end, by the end of June, by the end of June, we'll have and know exactly who the persons are. Okay. And the then we we'll go to a round. Yes. Yeah. Then we'll have a round of um, hostings, whereby the parties also want to get non-members to get involved because this person will be the prime minister as well. Mm -hmm. Persons like myself and Conservative members will be able to vote for the new leader, and that person will ultimately be the next prime minister. That will take us to and the that next vote level. for the new leader would be when? That vote for the next, um, that will be um, sometime in July. Okay. Mm -hmm. And and then after that, what happens next is that, of course, you're going to have the situation whereby Corbyn is going to come in to say, you do not have the mandate, mm -hmm. you're going to put pressure on the next leader, just of like how Theresa May got that pressure and she went and she lost mm -hmm. it. The best thing to do is keep it like this until 2022 which is constitutional due for the next election because we got to deal with this Brexit factor. Mm -hmm. And next I, general election would not help. I think, I think, the, the, what do you make of those who would suggest that uh, the, the British people should just really uh, get used to the idea of leaving EU without a deal because it's really hard to bring all the opposing sides together. Is yeah. that the, the most likely outcome that Britain will exit the EU without a deal? It is looking that way, and that's why they're talking about, and they're moving the world WTO and the Canadian, uh, the Canadian deal as well. And, you know, because, we, you see, really and truly, I keep saying this to people all the while, it doesn't mean to say everything is going to fall out of the sky and, you know, as everything is done, deal. Uh, the UK still remains in Europe. The UK will still be a key, key player on the market. The UK, I believe in a way that the UK will have the best of worlds. Sometimes they say, don't say, have your cake and eat it, because the EU will be still a trading partner, yes, with the 27, China, America, Trump is saying, hey, we're ready to do a deal with you, um, Australia, all is it. I think we've got it. But what has not happened, gentlemen, there has not been a selling of Brexit about this uncharted territory and this opportunity. This is the UK, the, the, the country of churches, the bulldog story. But what has happened is that, um, unfortunately, um, the parliament at present, uh, we claims inside there, and many of them are going to go, just like Dominic Green was almost deselected by Spar Dominic Green, uh, who's a mentor of myself, but also the former attorney general. Uh, he was almost deselected because he was making it very difficult for the prime minister. Because people are actually saying, guys, I was in parliament, I was in Westminster on March 29th, and you could see people are saying, those guys are letting us down. Don't just, 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 just give it a sense of so how, how in the next six weeks or so you will have a new yeah. um prime minister. Pri prime minister how how does mrs mrs may manage between now and then well it's gonna be it's just gonna go through the motion it's yeah. gonna go through the motion uh, it's uh, it's it's um, not want to say well dead woman walking you know she's well actually you know the principle there She's mm -hmm. just going to go to the motion. It's just carrying on business with the government because nothing yeah. is going to happen. Nobody's going to try to make any deal now. That's why Corbyn said, hey, we cannot have any negotiations now because people are wanting you to go. And if you go, the next person might just tear up the paper. So that is why Corbyn then pulled out of the negotiations, which we're having 
um, with the Prime Minister at, at present. So it's just going to be a caretaker role okay. until I mean, the next... Right, and oh, it may yeah. very well turn out that Theresa May is a scapegoat and there's really still no solution found for this dilemma in terms of uh, leaving the EU. But what, what yeah. I, I'd, I'd like to close, but before we do, yes, uh, Mr. City, I'd like, how, how are the people on the ground responding to the politicians in the House of Commons and the inability to arrive at, at a deal that would see them honouring uh, the, the will of the people, the richest you know, traditions yeah. of democracy where the people speak and, you know, the powers that yeah. we listen. Well, we've got the recent evidence from the recent local government election where many persons spoil their, their bollocks, make trying to say, um, I'm fed up. People are just saying, get on with it. The European election coming up soon, you're going to see the Brexit party. It is, they are the ones leading. The Brexit party is a single issue party, really. Nigel Farage is just coming in back and saying, listen, you guys need to sort this out. The Remain Party is actually, well, that is um, um, the Lib Dem there. So at present, now, what, what needs to happen? Uh, and the people on the ground, I mean, I was with my dentist recently. She's from Sweden, and she's actually saying, this is not good. We're going to go back, you know? Because what is happening is that there's no stability. There is no assurance. Companies at present are not wanting to invest in the UK because they're unsure. And that is why there needs to be this level of stability. And once you have this, the, the, the pound, the pound bounced recently. Bounced when the Prime Minister said she's going to resign because you're seeing a little breakthrough. Uh, Boris, or one of, sorry, I'm sorry. Go ahead, M Mr. Sidi, we, we are almost yeah. out of time, but I'd like to ask you, yes. said you are a Brexiter, yes? Yes, I, I'm, a, I'm still going to be a little Brexit. I don't like this. Brexit. You, you voted <laughs> Brexit. <laughs> you, 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 you voted I'm, Brexit, I'm, pardon me. I'm, 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 tra I'm straight out of the Ochi. The Ochi, man. Straight out of the <laughs> so you straight voted Brexit. Straight out of the Ochi. Could, you, voted Brexit yes. could you tell us why? I voted Brexit. I like to know why I voted Brexit. I, I, I'm a lawyer and, I have a, and I, we study a constitutional law. We talk about um, Europe and, and the, the Union and how somehow they override a lot of the, the, what, what the policy, what the UK government wants. Uh, many people vote for different reasons. I vote more on a thing like, listen, the UK can do it, right? And um, and I don't like unelectable uh, bourgeoisies and bureaucrats, junk and all these guys. They are there in Europe telling the UK what to do. What you have at the same time, you have smaller countries who have smaller economies who are benefiting from the UK. That's why these billions that, that is the UK's pain, Boris is correct. 250 million can go to the NHS weekly, right? So therefore, the UK is a big and massive player in Europe. And you've got these guys telling us what to do. And, and, and they are, this is, this is all this, uh, and the reason why many people are actually wanting to go now, they saw the disrespect they gave to the Prime Minister. Or they turned their backs on her, and they, 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 they saw many things about the Prime Minister. Theresa May is a great lady. Um, she got a bad deal in the sense that she got a part of the chalice. And I think that many of these guys out there are more weak, weak than, than this lady here. Well, pass so, it, pass it, but, it to the next. Um. <laughs> so, 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 if it's a poison so, chalice, I'm, the next person <laughs> take it. Person. Well, well, they, well, they, I, they, I, they have the job cut, they were cut out for them. Well, well, they are the ones who push it. Boris and those guys are the ones that push it. So yes. let them take the poison chalice and smoke it. You know what I'm saying? Well, all right. But okay. well, we have to leave it there. We want to thank uh, Silburn Sidial. He is an attorney at law and a talk show host uh, in the UK. Straight out of Ochi. Straight out of Ochi, straight yes. Out. Make sure you never forget that shit. And, right. and, we, and, and, and Mr. Winston Barrett, Mr. Winston Barrett said I must hear him up. I'm right. putting that like my mother and the Ochi and everybody. Say right. like that. All right. Big up the Ochi Massive. All right. All right. All right, man. Thank you very much.